Hello and welcome to VM Informer's video guides on virtual computing. The first question to answer is why virtualization? Well, it's simple. It saves money and resources. Of course, you'd like us to tell you how it works, so here's a simple introduction. Virtualization, or virtual computing, makes one physical computer act and perform like many computers. Every computer, irrespective of its power, size or age, from the smallest PC to the biggest mainframe, has four attributes. Each one has a processor, the chip that does the work, some memory, the chips that remember the task and how to do it, some storage, which files everything away, and a network connection. Because we rely on computers for every aspect of our business life, there are hundreds of servers, PCs and laptops in most organisations, but they all have the same need for these four things. So virtualization works as follows. A big piece of hardware with plenty of power in processing, memory, storage and network capacity is loaded with a piece of software called a hypervisor. The hypervisor is sometimes called the abstraction layer because it abstracts the physical resources and reallocates them more efficiently. In this diagram, above the abstraction layer is a guest computer, or some people call it a virtual machine. These virtual machines are just very big files. The guest computers run inside the physical hardware, which is called the host. An example of how a virtual machine runs inside a computer is the sending and receiving of some data through the network. Sent data leaves the guest computer, it travels through the hypervisor to the network card on the host and forwarded it to its eventual destination. The same works in reverse when receiving data. Why would you do this? Well, simply because you can run many machines simultaneously over one physical hardware. So you can save money on hardware, consolidate management, reduce energy use, and it becomes a much more efficient use of resources. Most computers operate using between only 4 to 7 percent of their resources. By virtualizing these computers, you can get many guests onto one host. Immediately, you're going to get much greater efficiencies in power consumption, physical space, and energy use from cooling. Of course, you should need less people to look after that equipment. Now, when you need a new server, you don't need to buy new hardware, you can make a virtual one. If you need more memory or CPU on a device, your administrator just changes the resource allocation with a few mouse clicks. So what can you virtualize? Well, anything that has the four attributes of a computer. Even the network and the switching between computers can be consolidated onto the same platform. There are more benefits. When you have two host servers, then you have the ability to move machines around so available resources are optimized at all times. It's quite possible to move a powered-on guest computer from one host to another. You might do this because the first host is overloaded or because there's been a catastrophic hardware failure of the original host. Maybe you can get cheaper processing costs somewhere else, which introduces the concept of cloud computing. However, this flexibility does raise some questions. Where are your machines? Who has access to these systems? How are they managed? What security is in place? Our other videos on virtualization risk management outline what is involved in these and other risks and what you can do to address them. Understand and address these issues and you should be able to continue your virtualization journey with confidence. VM Informa is designed to provide organizations with remediation advice for their virtual infrastructure. It is easy to deploy and use and instantly provides visibility and peace of mind. If you want to know more, please visit us at vminforma.com. Thanks for watching.